So what I'm just going to do is try as much as possible to see if I can get one, one or two images that I feel encapsulates some of the message that we're trying to pack, pass across uh, with this particular shoot, sports, athleticism, and fashion is what we're trying to say. So if, if I can get like one or two images, I kind of like, like the, the body, I mean, the, the, the way the hand, the toned muscle, I, I like the, a little bit of the triangle too, the way the image is. So if I, I mean, because I don't want to spend too much time. And also, if you see something, it's still a little bit very feminine because of the right hand, where the right hand is placed. It's, 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 it's uh, evoking a little bit of a feminist, uh, femininity to it. There's strength in it because of the flexed muscles. And in all, I just like the triangles that the body is uh, making. So I probably will choose that over every other thing. Let me just quickly select that and then we can, we can move on. Uh, because I don't have so much time, I'm going to select just that. Uh, I think three images already. I have this, I have this, and I have this. Uh, I can just quickly copy them. So I will typically copy, uh, move it to selected, move photos, delete originals. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I go to selected. It's right here in the folder. I drag, I drop it, and I import it. Um, with this, I will typically not do too much. Uh, if I was processing this, I like the highlights, actually. I don't mind the highlights, especially even here. I don't mind it at all. It's more pronounced on the screen. However, uh, it's more pronounced on the screen, but it, on my own screen, it's not as pronounced. I don't mind the highlights. I will pretty much just find a way to say, creatively maybe balance uh, the colors that I really want to exaggerate um, in some respect. This has enough contrast to, uh, to pretty much be a white and black in some way. Uh, but I don't want to be that lazy That's, that we don't try any other thing before we just give it a black and white look and, and move on. So what I always do is I always create presets for my, uh, my edits. So first thing I do is once, I, once I'm done shooting, I look at it. Sometimes I might go through the list of presets that I have already. If anyone works for, for them, I'm not doing any other thing again. I just run that do a few other adjustments. If I need to ch tilt the angles, I tilt the angles. If I need to do anything else, I do it in Lightroom, and then I move it further to Photoshop when, if, and when it needs further edits. In my own little way, if I find something that works on my preset for this, if we have the remote control for the TVs, we can actually change the picture presets. Let's change the pre picture presets so that it's a bit more um, lifelike. So I create the presets with like different names for, for different purposes. And I'm actually really liking this particular one. I'm liking it not because of what you're seeing there, because what you're seeing there is a bit rough. Uh, I'm liking it on my computer because this is a preset I created when I worked with Coca-Cola, right? The red on the glove and the red of Coca-Cola, there's a way the red Coca-Cola is treated. And I'm just loving the way the reds here are handled. 
and the way the blacks, you know there's a particular feel that the blacks in Coca-Cola images will have. <coughs> I did the same in this, where the blacks are not 100% blacks. There's a little bit of a navy blue type thing. I did the same here. And the whites also contain a little bit of yellow in the Coca-Cola. And it's the same thing that is going on here. And I just, I feel like I, I love it for this image. You might not see it well, but it also works with high fashion style grading. Where you're grading your images for probably high fashion. So I'm tempted to really go with this. If you look at it now, you can see the before and after. You can't really see it well here. Uh, I'm just going to reduce the highlights a little bit more so that the highlights on the face gets, and then just open up the shadows a little bit. For me, I think this will work. I think the only reason, the only way you will see this is when eventually, maybe when I post it up, or better still, uh, I can export it and put it on the, on the iPad so that you just see the difference. And if I do this, what, one thing I will always do is I always sync this also, right? I'll sync it, and if it works, I'm good. If it doesn't, then I'll do a different setup entirely. Maybe not too different from this because it's the same uh, set of images and the same almost lighting scheme, so I don't want it to be too different. So I'm just going to sync it, and it works for me. I really love it. it. It looks like something out of a book, what I'm looking at here, anyways. Um, I'll try also on this, and then sync it. If it works, it works for me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit more. This works for me perfectly, and uh, I would have gone, I would have gone into Photoshop to sort all this out. But what I'm just gonna do, because I'm not gonna do that, is I will probably add a little bit more light onto this side of the face, on the right side of the face, using mask in Lightroom. I'll just add that, use a brush. I'm gonna bring it up, maybe 50% instead, 66%. Uh, and then I'm just gonna brush the exposure into this guy. Just gonna brush a little bit. Uh, so we increase the exposure. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. So this is a quick 10, 20 minutes edit.